As a professional graphic designer and resident of the fine state of Nebraska, I feel I have to comment on the sad, stupid mess we find ourselves in. But you got yourself into your own mess, you know the demons in the design. Good idea at the time. License plate gate. You haven't heard about it? Oh, well, let me fill you in here. One, it's time for new license plates. Two, Nebraskans got to vote on our license plates this year via the internet. Whoa, 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 wait. You mean vote on the internet like NASA did? Like a few months ago? Yeah, exactly like that. Three, selections sucked and were widely panned for the crappitude. Four, government refused to allow other options to vote on despite many volunteer offers from local professionals. Five, collegehumor.com picked up on the vote and spammed the ballot box. Six, results announced. Ugly plate one, massive public outcry. Since the announcement of the winning slash ugly plate design, Nebraskans have been voicing their disappointment and their disgust in every way possible, from angry posts on the internet to letters and phone calls to the governor himself. Further, Nebraska's design stewards, its nationally recognized award-winning ad agencies, have made clear their disapproval of the winning design. And finally, calls by Nebraskans for a nullification of the vote due to the tampering by collegehumor.com have gone wholly ignored. Unfortunately, the governor is sticking to his guns on this issue, calling the plates attractive and professionally designed, both of which are... Hmm. Needless to say, many Nebraskans right now are not so happy due to two things, actually. One, they get a crappy license plate they didn't even vote on. And two, they're being ignored by their governor. Throughout all this, some cranky people are saying, Get over it. It's just a license plate. That's, that's point one. And point two, people are saying, well, aren't there better charitable causes out there that people can be wasting their creative effort on than this? Let me address those for you there, people. Why dress up for work or comb your hair in the morning? Why wash your car? Why mow your lawn or plant flowers in your yard? Regardless of how you feel on this issue, appearance is important, whether it's for yourself or for your state. As for number two, if the state didn't already employ graphic designers whose job it is to design things for the state, I might agree with that point. Unfortunately, the winning design was created by the materials vendor. That's kind of like saying, I want to build a house, but I don't have a design. I bet the lumber company has a good one. I'll just ask them for it. I have a lot of pride in this state. When I moved to California and got new license plates for the car, I proudly hung my Nebraska plate on the wall of my office. See? I was all like, Nebraska represent! Although that design took some heat back in the day, at least its sandhill cranes and sunset said something about Nebraska. What does the new plate say about Nebraska? That the state is flat and boring? That our sky is perpetually overcast and gray? That plate would never go on my wall, and if I weren't so worried about offending Maggie, I would use it to line the bottom of her litter box. You know, ultimately, a license plate is a little thing. Unfortunately, the governor's obstinance is pushing this issue into the spotlight right now. The bureaucratic talking points are repeated over and over again, the most awesome of which is, Can't please everybody! No, you can't please everyone, it's true. But when the majority of people you're pleasing are out-of-staters who voted on this thing as a joke, not Nebraskans, then there's a problem with that statement. In closing, I just had one thing I wanted to say. Governor Heineman, with all due respect, you can diffuse this situation right now with one simple statement. Nebraskans, I love you. <laughs> we all know that's not going to solve anything. No, what he should say is, Nebraskans, we've heard your voice. We are nullifying the vote and accepting the design help that has been offered. 
How long was that? I was like, I was like 20 seconds. Of course, I'm a lone Nebraskan internet video blogger. I honestly don't expect my plea to go answered. But maybe, just maybe, if we make enough noise, it was the internet that got us into this mess, and it's the internet that can get us out of it. Write, call, blog. Let's make something good happen so we can be proud of the tiny Nebraska billboards we all have to display on our cars. Are you ready, Nebraskans of the internet? It's go time. Yeah,